Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snoop and today I'm going to show you how to get the IPA file for your Xcode 6 and um, this is for iOS devices, iPads, iPhones, so on and what this does, this file does is it allows the developer to send out to beta testers or to others to download outside of the App Store. Now, as far as as things goes, I'm be doing this in Xcode 6. Since Xcode 5, you need to have a developer account. This means you need to have a $100 a year account with Apple. But if you want, then you can actually try a before Xcode 5 or there is some workaround. I'm going to be researching that later on but uh, let's jump on in and get this thing done so as far as this goes you obviously need osx um, the operating system for macintoshes you need to have xcode and uh, i'm again doing xcode 6. i'm going to be using a uh, application I'm, I'm making for a client and um and they needed the ipa file so i had to figure this one out and within that's code six you need to go to product go down to archive build started wait for this to get done the bigger your project is the longer it's going to take build succeeded go down to export go down to save for ad hoc basically you're looking at a ad hoc and um, if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. But go to next. And if you are currently not signed into your developer account, then here's the place that you would be signing in. But since I'm already signed in and and this knows who I am, it's it's uh, asking me if if this is who I am. So I say yes. Give it a second or two. And let's minimize this real quick so you can see it going on the desktop. And as you see here, there's no IPA file. And for those of you who's in Android, this is the equivalent to an APK file. So go to export. And select your area and what you want to name it. So export as and whatever you want to name. And then where, so desktop. Click export. And there we go. That's it. So we can send this off to our beta testers or our clients or whatever. Now, as far as things goes, there is workarounds if you don't have a developer account. Again, developer accounts are $100, so it's not a cheap turnaround. But um, if you do know of a way to do this in Xcode 6 without a developer account, an easy way that is then let me know down there in the comment section because I'm be researching some ways because um, I I'm, imagine a lot of my future clients are not going to be happy if they have to pay a hundred dollars for a developer account if they want to change whatever code at any given time because most of the codes I write for for a lot of my clients they can actually change it as needed in the future that way they could use my app versus someone else's so anyways uh if you got any questions leave that down below in the comment section and if this has helped you then please like please subscribe and please share also please visit techviewsandhelp.com and i hope you have a great day